All right, so Ben, a few minutes ago you showed me the Maestro, and I will confess I've seen those before, used them before, so I think a lot of our viewers have seen them before, but this thing I have never seen before. So this is a Triton. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Certainly, certainly. So the Triton's a, a different beast. I mean, a completely different beast. This is a 1050 nanometer swept source OCT. So we originated way back in the day with time domain OCTs. Every posterior OCT here today is a spectral domain OCT. But this is the first commercially available swept source OCT. So if you like, your next generation of OCTs. Uh, that's not to put the Maestro down. Spectral Domain is fine. It does a great job. And from a price point of view, it's extremely attractive. Right. The swept source device comes into its own when you've got a sick eye, an unhealthy patient. So the example on the screen you can see very clearly is different from the image we were looking at earlier with the Maestro. Yep. And what 10, 50 nanometers of wavelength gives us is penetration, and it gives us a depth of image that's unparalleled to our spectral domain machines. What it allows us to do is to penetrate opacities. These might be cataracts, they may be a hemorrhage, but it also allows us to capture twice as fast. So what you have here is a joystick driven on purpose because with sick eyes, automation is great, but we want to be able to manage our patient. So we've got a joystick driven, really simple to operate like a standard fungus camera, 100,000 day scan per second machine that's going to capture phenomenal images with them, in this case, a high resolution a single line here looking at this pathology. But most importantly, masses of data in a data cube. So we take 256 B scans in a data cube like this. So what you see is a very, very dense information that we can extract what we need, just the same as we described earlier about that wide field scan. But this machine can capture the total globe. And the reason it can do that is that 10, 50 nanometer wave. We can capture, using our anterior attachment, an image of, for example, the Aura Serrata by penetrating the sclera because of that 10, 50 nanometer wave. Wow. So you may have seen in various advertisements around the show, and we had a, a symposium yesterday, a total globe image. This machine captured that total globe. Got it. And how long does it actually take to scan and how difficult is it relative to other systems? Again, extremely, really, extremely easy. Point and shoot, joystick driven. We literally drive in like a standard from this camera, we press the button. As I said, 100,000 day scans per second. We capture again, a, a, a lot of data in, uh, in that time. What we capture is one second, all of this information with regards to image quality and the funnest image at the same time. Right. This machine will also take, for example, fluorescent angiography and also fluorescence images. So between that, it's multimodal capability, the wide field imaging and the penetration. This really is, as I say, a, a different beast. It's the only commercially available swept source posterior device and it will penetrate those sick eyes. So my, my big question to you, and I'm sure everyone's asking, is obviously a very high tech device. How do you learn about it? So let's say you've now acquired the device, you have it, how do you learn to use it? So from TopCon's point of view, yeah. uh, TopCon has TopCon University. Right. It's an online, if you like, interface that allows you to log in and learn about the instrumentation and also from a diagnostic point of view, because we're not going to tell you how to diagnose, we're going right. to tell you how to read the images. Um, but certainly from a, uh, an experience on uh, Walmart and TopCon's part, is we will send one of our clinical trainers to install and train on the machine and then you have that online support as well. Right, so you're not alone, that you won't just dump it on the doorstep and run away. No, 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 no. <laughs> but of course, we discussed this earlier with the Maestro, extremely intuitive software and sure. device. So in reality, training to physically drive the instruments is, is really kind of a, a non-issue. Right. But we provide that. Yeah, because what we noticed on EDWire is, you're right, physically actually getting the scans is the easy part. It's the interpretation that's a the docs really, I'm just not sure. And that's where I think it's really helpful to have training afterwards. 100%. So do be aware, of course, here at Walmart, we've got various different rebates. Uh, a $20,000 rebate on the Triton, oh. which is a phenomenal introduction to, if you like, our, our OD uh, and, and, environment. And that's here at Expo, right? Yes. All right, so everyone, get on it. <laughs> Yo,
one day left, right? Yes. So there we go. All right. Well, Ben, thanks so much for this. Absolute pleasure.